The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Oscar Delta Mike, this step is good. Delta Mike is starting up and uh, we will be uh, eventually set a course for position 6844 north, 4930 west. 7 PLB, turns up 2 hours 2 zero. Call you in left hand. Greenland is a really incredible place. It's very dramatic, sort of stark. There's no trees. We start our work in these small towns, and then we fly from there up onto the ice sheet surface itself. And the ice is just an amazing place to be. It's very dynamic. You have an ever-changing surface. From morning to night, the ice changes shape and color and size. There's noises all around you that one's not used to, the rushing of water, the cracking of ice. There's a lot of challenges to working in a place like Greenland, being cold and wet. The fact that you're sleeping in a tent on the ice itself. You have large streams that change throughout the day that you have to navigate around or across or stay away from. There's huge holes and cracks in the ice. The Greenland ice sheet holds enough water in the form of ice that if it were to melt would raise global sea level on average about seven meters around the world, which is a lot of ice. In the era that we've had both the advanced satellite observations as well as the ability to put out very precise measuring instruments such as GPS receivers on the surface of the ice itself, we've started to make some really fundamental, exciting discoveries about the ways that the ice and climate are linked and about the speed with which the ice can respond to changes in climate that are much faster than we would have anticipated. So one of the really exciting discoveries that our group has made over the last few years is the observation that very large pools of meltwater, which are a couple miles across and tens of feet deep, can, in a matter of hours, split the ice apart, ice that's a half a mile or more thick, and drain very quickly to the bed of the ice. The reason that's important and why we care that water is reaching the bed is that the interaction of water at the interface between the glacier and the rock below is very important to determining how quickly the ice moves towards the, the coast. So as this ice moves much more quickly into the ocean, it can break off more quickly. You can have increased rates of calving. So what that means is that as the ice is lost at the front of the glacier, there's less pressure being applied upstream that's holding the glacier back. So kind of think of a cork in a wine bottle. If you remove that cork, the wine is going to come pouring out more quickly behind it. One hope is that our improved understanding of how ice sheets work, how they grow and how they shrink and how they move, will allow us to make better predictions of sea level in the future. To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.